Here's a sneak peek, y'all. I don't want them seeing me, but I don't know why I said that, but look at this. Y'all should see, they add new fi um, light fixtures out there. They added new numbers. Oh my gosh, it, it looks so beautiful. Let me show y'all. So y'all, yeah, I had to stop the cleaning because they put us in breakout rooms now. I was doing this while I was in training, guys, and now I have to focus on training. But this is what I got through so far. My plants are full of ants. I think I want to repot them. I don't know yet, but yeah. I put salt in it and cinnamon, but I'm not even sure if that's going to help. Look, I'm basically going to repot it. Yep, these ants are having a feast and right here too. That's why I prefer to leave my plants in water, but not all of them are have ants in them. It's just these three. And everything else looks good. So I had to stop doing this look. A mess. But I'm going to get it together because I can't stand seeing my kitchen look in a different type of way. But yeah, let me focus. Let me hear what these people got to say. I'll be right back, y'all.
y'all, the construction people are still here. Okay, we're on break. We got a 15 minute break. So let me update y'all on what's really going on, right? So I'm jumping from one. Ugh, these freaking ants are making me piss, yo. I thought I had an ants killer um, spray here and I don't. So I'm using this. I don't even know. Remember when the pandemic was here, y'all? And we were buying all type of hand sanitizers, disinfectant sprays that we can find. This was the only option I was able to find. And supposedly it's effective. It's good for hospitals and um, other use. And it's a disinfectant spray. So I just sprayed it on the ants. I hope it doesn't affect my poor plants. But yeah. So anyways... So we started off, so she just put me in a break room, right? And of course they got quiet again. So anyways, I had to log in in my system and I said, you know, once I log out, cause once you log in in the system, y'all, if you're on a regular portal, it's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna log you out wherever room you're in and you're gonna have to request to get back in. So I was like, cool, once I get back in, hopefully she don't put me in the same room. Nope, she puts me in a different room, which I'm okay with because as soon as I get in the room, I hear people role playing. Y'all know I'm big on that. I gotta hear people role playing in order for me to remain productive. Cause if it's if not, then I'm gonna end up my mind is gonna end up wandering and I'm gonna end up doing other stuff, like cleaning. Right. So I'm gonna end up cleaning. So then I get to this room and this man, he's just talking really fast. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's role playing wrong. And people try to butt in to help him. And he's not wanting to take any tips. Like he just feels like everything he's saying is correct. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, oh, this is not gonna work. This is not going to work. But today I know I'm gonna take my time when doing self paces y'all. Because I have to catch up because next week is the last week. And then she said that we'll be taking like calls thursday and friday and then our last day would be like either monday or tuesday she says she has to get the dates for us she's not sure but yep time just be clicking y'all and i love that i love that about these accounts and arise good job good job man like oh my god i guess you were watching my videos right and you realize that homegirl was talking a lot of mess. I wasn't talking a lot of mess. I was just disappointed. You know, I was just so disappointed because because I know you guys are not consistent. It's okay. Change is always good. I'm up for change because, you know, when you're not, when it's always the same things over and over again, it gets boring. It gets really boring. So I think the spray is working, you know. These things, the, the ants are dying. It's killing the ants. Let me put it in the soil. Let me spray it in the soil and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't affect my leaves on my plants. So um, yeah, they're doing a lot of different other things. They update you, they text message you, letting you know updates and stuff like that, and which is awesome. I got a drug um, test to take and I can't take it because I'm on my cycle and I feel disgusted given urine and it's going to be all bloody and stuff, you know, as a woman perspective, you know, you're handing someone your urine with blood in it and blood clot probably be part of it. I know TMI, TMI, but I'm just saying, <laughs> if you know, then you know, okay? Then you know. But other than that, that's basically what's going on. Guys, I want to use these canisters. But they're not big enough because I'm so used to using these candy canisters. And I just want to know if they have like a secure lid. So ants won't get in them. You get it? And it kind of like seems like it has a good suction. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transfer the rice in there as well as the sugar in there and make my kitchen pop okay 
Because when stuff starts looking good, it makes me feel good. You know? And it makes me want to be in that space. So that's what we're going to do for the 15-minute break that she gave us. Let's see how fast I can move. It's killing them, y'all. Y'all see that black spot? That's an ant. There's ants in the back. They're just coming out slowly, but it's doing a trick. It's doing a trick. She's beautiful. She's just trailing, loving life. So guys, I got through watching washing my um, coffee machine. It looks so brand new. So yeah, I have to go back, guys. I'm not done. So once I'm done with training, I will be done with all of this madness. Can't wait to see the final reveal.
So guys, this is what it's looking like now. This money plant is living its best life. It's going in my room. And this is what I did thus far. I love it. I absolutely love it. So let me get closer. <clears throat> so what I did was, as you can see, I added the raven plant, the ZZ raven plant behind it because it doesn't require that much light. And then that's my candle warmer. And those are the decorations I brought from Family Dollar. And these are the canisters I had here for a while. And I'm finally using them. It just gives the kitchen a little, you know, off. I want to show you what's on the left side, but it's still not clean yet. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Training ended, so I'm just trying to get everything done, set up together. But so far, so good. They are doing this just in time for the holidays, and I'm so excited. You guys should see what the outside looks like. Y'all should see. They add new fi um, light fixtures out there. They added new numbers. Oh, my gosh. It, it looks so beautiful. Let me show y'all. Here's a sneak peek, y'all. I don't want them seeing me, but I don't know why I said that, but look at this. Yeah, but we're going to tackle this plant shelf. So let's go ahead and do it. I might not even put the plants on the windows yet because I do want to wipe them down. But I'm going to go ahead and rearrange my plants. This one needs help. That one needs help. So it's not staying there. Um, what I decided to do, y'all was take this plant and put it over there on the bookshelf. We'll see.
Before I put everything back on the shelf, y'all, I just want to like get rid of all these dead leaves. Oh my God, I've been a horrible plant mom. Horrible, these things just been here for quite a while. And I'm gonna clean out the um, the planter that is sitting in. That's very important too, y'all. I don't even know what's under this. I'm scared to even look. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, let's talk about training. So training finally ended. So training finally ended. Now, I do want to do some sew paces later on. I don't even know if that's possible. But I'll do it sometime this weekend to figure out exactly what this account is all about. I mean, doing it, how do I feel about it? So she gave us a scale today, five, uh, one to five. I'm going to give it a three. Okay, because there's always something that, something new that's being told, that's being taught. So that's why I'm saying a three. But so far to navigate it and to find certain things is easy. Okay, and, and that's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at. So I felt like today went by, training went by pretty fast. I don't know why, but to me, it just felt that way. So that's basically what it is. But I'm happy. I'm not nervous to get on the floor at all. But you know, either you know it or you don't. And like I said before, they're not gonna teach us everything. And then she did bring it out that you're not gonna learn everything in this training class. Where you will learn it is actually taking calls, which is so true. But everybody seems to wanna know everything because they're asking a whole bunch of questions. A lot of them sound like they're scared. A lot of people are still having system issues. And yeah, that adapter that I brought, the uh, hardwire adapter to connect to my laptop is tripping a little bit because it said that it, it detected that I was on Wi-Fi and it automatically logged me out of their system, which I was not on Wi-Fi. I was connected probably because the way I was sitting with it, it has to be set up in a one way position. I don't know, but don't worry. That would not be my position every time. My position is going to be set up in the room where I usually do my work. Right now, it's just a mess because I didn't even get a chance to clean off my computer desk, which I will do this weekend. So, yeah. But we are trying to set up um, study buddies and uh, we wanted to do it right now, but everybody get excited when she says that it's okay for us to go because everybody start logging off right away, you know? But yeah, so the plant is looking good so far. She's all cleaned up, removed all the dead leaves. So. Let's see what's under her. Let's see what it looks like. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I haven't put, moved this plant from the shelf in so long. Oh, it's not bad at all. Awesome. Okay, but I do see ants. So let me go get that spray. Spray. I am believing that it's making doing its job. And this job is not even to kill ants, it's to sanitize whatever you spray on it. I meant whatever you use it for. So, all right, this is looking good. So now I'm just waiting until the bookshelf dries up a little bit because it was kind of wet y'all 
what the heck is this what in the world is this like girl i am not the best plant mom i'm gonna show you like it's bald up here but the plant is trailing okay like it's trailing for dear life so i don't know i don't know what to do with this plant but i was thinking about adding this one that's propagating and water in it I think that's what I'm gonna do. And leave it up here and bring the pretty one up there, this pretty one up here on the bookshelf. This pretty one. Still got ants though. Is she going up on the shelf? Cause she's so cute. And her sister, her bangs are so long, you can't even see her face. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what she looking like. Her sister. This what her sister looking like. Like you can't even see her face cause it's growing so much. I put the pothos and the Brazil plant together and look how it came out. So nice. I just rest her sister up here. She's cute, looking cute. I'm finally done y'all what do y'all think it's a lot going on but that's what my look is supposed to be i like that jungle look and it just makes me feel so happy the only thing i don't like so far is that this sign is hiding behind the planter but that's all good i add the little pumpkin in there just to give it a little spice <laughs> Um, I didn't put nothing on the third shelf because, as you can see, the Monstera is living its life. And it takes up all the light that comes in. So whatever plant is hiding behind there would not be able to take advantage of that. So at least I think so. So that's why I'm just leaving it um, empty for now. I might just add pictures or whatever the case may be, like picture frames there and stuff like that. Or... Um, design well decors and stuff like that but guys look at my monstera she is bouncing back bro she is just loving this spot where i put her at and that's where she's staying forever all right i gotta get rid of that spot on that couch i know i see it okay don't come for me all right
That's it so far. I'm just admiring this whole setup right now. Like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I'm debating cutting this, guys, because this was in the window in the living room, the windowsill. I'm just thinking about putting it here and just lifting the, um, the trailing leaves and have it wrapped around here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking, guys. I don't have much time to think because I got to go pick up your niece and nephew soon. So, y'all know how that get. gets becomes chaos. my neighbors this is nice very nice makes you want to come home and stay home and not go anywhere oh, it's so flipping hot gee whiz that's how people get sick here in florida the weather constantly changing on us but i thought those people left but they're still here maybe they're waiting to get permission from their boss or the inspector to come out to check it out i don't know but they chilling they hanging out which is cool they ain't bothering me they did an amazing job oh my gosh now i have ideas now i really want to decorate the front of my door the front of my house with the pumpkins and the pumpkin sign that i have and I had that since last year, guys. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, I'm just like so ready. But I'm not done with the cleaning part yet. Cause I was pressed for time. I end up um, taking a shower instead. I took a shower this morning, guys, but I don't know, ladies. If you're like me, when you're on your cycle, you take more than one shower. <laughs> and that's what I did. I felt so disgusted, but anyway, um, so right now I'm going to go pick up your niece and nephew because it's about that time. And then I am going to pick up my groceries at Walmart. I scheduled it this morning for 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. But obviously it didn't work out because I didn't wake up super early. Like I, this thing is melted. So it's coming out like water. But anyway, like I was saying, I didn't wake up on time like I thought I would in order to go get the groceries. So I'm gonna go and pick it up because I need it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, oh, I made $10 yesterday. I made $10 yesterday um, due to tip, guys. I did DoorDash. Oh my gosh, you guys would not believe. So I went to do DoorDash last night, right? And, you know, I scheduled myself and everything and it's a Thursday night. So I'm thinking that, you know, it will be busy because it's like 12 a.m. to, I scheduled myself 12 a.m. to 6.30 a.m., but I wasn't gonna stay that long. But I thought that, you know, because here, people where, where I live, people don't really sleep that early at all. And they're always eating. So they eat out super late because they're always ordering late. So I was like, okay, cool, you know, it's chill or whatever. And I'ma just go and and DoorDash for a little bit. Man, y'all, I only got one order. And then that one order end up tipping me. And he was like, did she tip you? I was like, I'm not sure. I'm not able to see that until it's completed. He gave me $10. So now if the kids say, oh, mommy, we're hungry, we wanna, I'm gonna take that $10 to Burger King and make it do what it do. Because I know they're gonna be hungry. I know they are. So if they are going to be hungry, I don't wanna spend any money, y'all. I don't, I wanna remain as frugal as possible. And with Burger King, y'all already know, we, we, we going frugal. We going super frugal. I'm gonna get the two um, honey mustard wraps and I'll get them some fries and um, I'll get them a medium fry. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take it that route. I'm gonna do that instead. Yep, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so it was so, it was so slow last night. 
to a point where I was just like, I'm going home. This is not right. This is crazy. So I still left the app on as I'm driving home, guys. I would have thought that I would have got like a bing, letting me know, a ping, letting me know, hey, someone, um, you know, here's an order. Pick it up. Nothing like that, y'all. It was completely silent until I even got inside the room in my home. I still had me on schedule. I did not turn the app off. I was like, wow, this is strange. <laughs> and this is a time when the snowbirds are here. So I would have thought that it would have been super busy and it wasn't. So I know on the weekends it stay lit. So I'm gonna hit DoorDash up this weekend again and see what we can get and see what we can get. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling extremely lucky. But anyway, y'all, yeah, I'm here at the kids' school. I'm going to turn my camera off now so I can go ahead and log in into the app for Walmart to let them know I'll be on my way once I pick up the kids so they can have my groceries ready. I think that's how they do it, right? I don't know. But yeah, I hit you guys back up when I get to Walmart. So we finally made it back home, y'all. I was able to unload the um, the groceries. Sorry, guys. I had to put y'all down. I was finally able to unload the groceries. And yeah, I know I said that I was going to hit y'all up when I got to Walmart, but I got very occupied, y'all. But yeah, I am not going to make this video any longer than what it is now. Um... I will be starting to finish cleaning up later on. I am just having a little snack and, and that's it guys. Happy Friday and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.